You may have heard the phrase beaver bombing, but what is it and why is it happening? Beaver bombing is the unauthorised release of beavers into areas where they were once native but disappeared due to hunting, habitat loss or environmental changes. Unlike official reintroduction programmes which are carefully planned and approved by authorities, beaver bombing happens secretly, often by well-meaning activists or landowners who want to see beavers return but don't want to wait for approval. Now that might sound bad, but consider this. Beavers were once everywhere in Britain, shaping our rivers and creating rich wetlands. Official reintroduction of beavers is slow, and some people think too slow, so they're taking things into their own hands. This has been happening all over the UK, and in 2024, wild beavers were reported to have been discovered in my neck of the woods, Cornwall, following some trail camera footage of beavers that had been released by a member of the public. Today I'm at the Tanglewood that is Almontor Nature Reserve here in Cornwall, and whilst looking for wildlife, I've just come across some signs of beavers. Recently, wild beavers have been discovered living here in the nature reserve. Nobody knows where they came from or how they got here. The Cornwall Wildlife Trust stated, this is not how we wanted reintroduction of beavers to happen at Hellman Tor. We do not condone the unlicensed release of beavers. However, they have also acknowledged the potential benefits. And before the surprise release of beavers here, they were applying for approval to release beavers here. Also in Cornwall is a more official beaver release as part of the Cornwall Beaver Project. This initiative, which began in June 2017, saw two adult beavers, a male and a female, released into a specially fenced five-acre enclosure at Woodland Valley Farm near Laddock. The beavers have since been hard at work, re-engineering the landscape and building dams. Visitors can experience this fascinating process up close by booking a guided walk around the farm where they can explore the beaver dams by daylight and possibly even glimpse the beavers emerging at dusk. The Cornwall Beaver Project aims to educate people about the impact that beavers can have on the environment and it's incredible to see the changes to the landscape there where the beavers have built their dams. There has been an increase in species such as birds, amphibians, insects and mammals and it has also had an impact on the local village by reducing flooding there. And it's not just here, across the UK, beaver reintroduction projects have transformed landscapes, increasing biodiversity and even reducing flooding downstream by slowing water flow. And this illustrates the amazing impact that they have on the environment. Considering this, it's not surprising that some people are keen to speed up the reintroduction of beavers into the wild. However, beaver bombing, the unauthorised release of beavers, comes with its own set of challenges and risks, including the lack of regulation and monitoring and potential landowner conflicts. Some people believe there is no place for beavers in the UK, but they were once widespread across the country until they became extinct due to heavy hunting for their thick waterproof fur, meat and castorium, a secretion from their scent glands used in perfumes and traditional medicines. Habitat loss also played a role, as large areas of wetland were drained for agriculture and human settlements expanded. So what are some signs of beavers? If you know what to look for, beavers leave their mark on the landscape. Freshly gnawed trees, footprints and channels through the wetlands. You can see here that a beaver has been gnawing this tree stump. If you look closely, you can see the grooves from their teeth marks. Other signs to look out for include dams and beaver lodges. But remember, beaver habitats are sensitive areas and it's important to avoid disturbing them. As always, wildlife first. I don't know how the beavers are getting on here, but I assume the Cornwall Wildlife Trust are monitoring them. They are obviously new here and still establishing their area and possibly even a family. Thankfully, the reserve here is remote with some areas quite inaccessible. So hopefully the beavers are safe here and will thrive. I'd be really interested to hear what you think about beaver bombing and about beavers living in the wild here in the UK. Thank you for joining me for this mini wildlife adventure and exploration into beaver bombing. Please do support my channel by liking and subscribing and I will see you in the next video.